guys. So this is my very first trip <coughs> to Yachtun and these are some of the sacrifices that we make for our families to help us um, get where we need to be. I know that at some point or the other a lot of us have had to make sacrifices for our families just because that's what we need to do, right? This is me making another big sacrifice for my family. So, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I was what Jaina and it was good, but that's not what I want for myself, right? I want um, to be a therapist. And for me to start having that therapeutic experience and start growing um just trying to look at the road sorry so for me to have that therapeutic experience and be able to get into medical social work i need to be able to work in the hospital so that i can have my all those therapeutic um experience clinical experience and and then there were some openings in Yorkton. Yorkton is two hours away from Regina. And I thought to myself that, let me apply and see what happens. And then I applied and then I did the interview and then I got the job. I'm glad that I got the job and I'm able to like start preparing towards my future to being a therapist and all that. But man, I didn't know I wasn't ready for it. Like, I never thought it was going to break me this much. All I have to do is, you know, go on Friday and then, like, go on Sunday and come back on Friday because I'll have to rent the house there where I can leave in while I'm working. But I never knew it was going to hurt me this bad. I never knew it was going to be this painful. <laughs> right? Because that is what it is. Like this is 2024 like starting a new year like we need to leave our comfort zone it's not going to be easy like it's not going to be easy it's not going to be enjoyable but this is some of the moves that we need to make to get to where we need to get to if you have a plan and you're ready to follow your plan through you get to where you need to be so yeah I I decided to put myself together because um, great men were not made in their hometowns, right? That's what I believe. So yeah, I decided to make up my mind, like just live beyond today. I think think about the future and not today. It might be very um, overwhelming for me to leave my family, especially my young children. My girls were crying their eyes out. Amaya was screaming at the top of her lungs because she couldn't imagine that she was going to have to spend some nights without mommy in the house because, you know. But that's what we have to do to get to where we want to get to. The salary is not like it's outrageously more than what I was making before. And I still have to pay for accommodation anyway. So it's not like I'm making so much a difference. But it's not about now. It's not about tomorrow. It's about much later i have plans and the only way i can reach my plans faster is to do this that i'm doing and i hope i don't regret it i pray so hard like i pray so much that i don't have to regret it but these are the kind of things i say when i make my videos that you have to take that move you know do your research make your plans and take that move it might not be convenient for you might not be convenient this is 2024 and it's time to like make that change get up and make that change it might not be convenient but get up get up and make that change you know get up and make that change anyway and this is the first time of seeing my face my name is obehi i'm a social worker and a content creator I live in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. And what I do on my channel is just share my life experiences with you. 
hoping that you pick something from me that will be beneficial for yourself and your family and yeah today's video is just me preparing myself for 2024 so welcome to the new year it's, it's the new year guys it, it, it's the new year so welcome to the new year and i hope this year brings us joy and laughter i hope it brings us um so much you know um achievements i remember last year when um i was writing my goals i had a women's meeting in my church at the time and when we went for the meeting i was telling them my goals for the year i'm like oh i want to do my certifications have my credentials accredited so i can become a social worker in canada and i wanted to buy a house and i said a few other things that i do not remember right now and the way they made it like they made my dreams sound very flimsy like well that's something that would, would be done you know i did i felt bad as at the time they said it but i didn't listen to them because i knew what i wanted right and i went for it so you might say your dreams to someone they might seem or your goals or your um your plans they might seem very minute very insignificant to other people but that is your goal at that time that is what is more interest what more important to you to someone else at that time they might want to buy a house someone might want to um, buy a car that's their dream at that time somebody wants to write CSCP PMP whatever that's their dream at that time that might not even be your own dream at that time my dream right now is to chase my dream that's my dream for 2024 my dream for 2024 is to go after my dream so yeah do not let what people think should be your goal or do not do not follow the trajectory of other people look at yourself look at your family situation do what works for you anyway I want to say thank you very much to you guys like I started this channel last year in March and it kind of kicked off on a very very good note you know very good note I was able to get my first check last year you guys did amazing things for me last year and I appreciate every one of you I do not take your engagement for granted I appreciate you all and this year the channel is going to be about you we're going to roll like friends like we are going to have those conversations, deeper conversation. We're going to hold our hands together to motivate each other. We're going to be accountability partners. We are doing this together. So if there's anything that you have on your mind that you're planning to do this year, let me know in the comment section. If there's anything I know of or that I've heard that can be beneficial to people, maybe from what I see in the comment section and there's an information that I have that would be beneficial to help you get to where you want to get faster, I'll share it with you too as well. But guys, let me know in the comment section what is your plan? What's your plan for 2024? I am pumped. I know I've been crying in this video, but I tell you, I am pumped. I am pumped because I know looking back at 2023 and what happened in 2023 i am pumped for 2024 because i know 2024 is going to be great so yeah share your ideas with me let me know what your plans are for 2024 and guys we made it to the new year yeah so i am still in the car i am driving to yorkton like i said yorkton is two hours away from regina but i'm just driving there right now i'm gonna like it snored it hasn't snowed for a while but it decided to snow on Thursday and on Friday. I think it started to snow from Thursday. So the road is not icy, but there's snow. But it's not bad. Like it's not slippery or anything. It's not bad. So thank you very much for watching today's video. If you watched this point, subscribe because, like I said, we're going to be accountability partners. We're going to be like going on this journey of 2024 together. We're going to do big things together. So do well to subscribe so that you don't miss out i have plans for myself like i said this year is the year i'm going to kickstart my dreams so join me so we can see these things together i intend to, like i said i got I, I think in my last video i mentioned that i got my teeth done yeah so i got my teeth done this year i'm going to re, like i'm going to put so much work in myself my body confidence i'm going to put so much work in that so that 
I'm in the right frame of mind. Uh, my body is in the right shape for me to reach where I want to be. That's how I want to do it. That's how I feel like I will achieve what I want to achieve. It might be some other way for you, but we can go on this journey together. So if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe to the channel. So guys, I just got here. Um, I'm trying to set my things up. I'm still trying to catch my breath. It doesn't feel real to me, but it is. It is, it is what it is. So yes, guys, I am here now. I will just show you what the room like, looks like. And then, um, yeah, I'll just show you what the room looks like. And this is where my home is going to be for the next however long, Monday to Friday. I'll just show you. So it's just a good size room. I started opening my stuff. This is my um, topper for my bed. There I have my food. These are my other stuff, like my pillow, my TV. So I didn't bring a lot of stuff because, of course, I'm going home every weekend. So I'm just going to set up the room as best as I can. And I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. this um mattress stopper right i thought it was small for the bed apparently the thing has to expand now it's expanded before it was like half of the bed but now it's expanding so let me just show you what it looks like right now so you can see it's expanding gradually i think it's only that half an hour to fully expand oh yeah i hate this headboard from my house, I have to manage it. Yeah. So this is the, the message from them. It says, thank you. And that. And then here, you see here, it says it will take 48 hours to fully decompress. See, 48 hours. So it's supposed to expand bigger than this. Like expand and cover the whole bed, queen size bed. But now over 48 hours to wait for the bed. I sleep. I'll just continue in the bed like that you need to compress on my body because what can I do? At least I'll have to sleep tonight. So, you know, the bed sheet had two pillowcases, but I decided to swap it out for one of the comforters and one of the pillowcases. What do you think? So, this is a start. I'm going to pause here for tonight because for tonight I'm tired. So, I'm going to pause here for tonight because I'm tired. Thank you guys for coming on this journey with me. You saw me cry. You saw my lows. <sighs> I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to be a good journey. And I just want to let you know, you know, there's this um, phrase that everybody's been saying, no grief for anybody. Um, what no grief for anybody means, don't let anybody diminish your goals. Your dreams are valid. You can do those things. You can fight those dreams yourself. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Until we see you again in my next one. Wish me well, guys. Wish me well in the comment section. <laughs> Wish me well in the comment section. And until we see you again in my next one. Keep chasing your dreams, guys. Bye.